Hi guys, this is Ifra Movanis and in today's tutorial we are going to be making a sitting down man cake topper. So let's get started. So for today's tutorial we are going to be using approximately 100 grams of black fondant, 85 grams of skin color fondant, 30 grams of white fondant, 20 grams of blue fondant and 8 grams of dark brown fondant. And of course we're going to be using the Ovani sculpting tools. Now we're getting a lot of questions about the tools and the fondant we're using in our tutorials, so I'm going to leave you the link to the best suitable fondant and tools for sculpting in the description box down below. And before we get started, I would like to point out that there are two kinds of fondant faces that you can attach to the sitting man that we are making today. The first one on the left is the regular cartoon like fondant face and you can find a tutorial on how to make it on our YouTube channel. And the second one is the photo to fondant premiere tutorial at ovanis.com and then with this tutorial you can learn how to sculpt your loved one fondant figure copied from a picture. So if it is your sister, brother, mother, father birthday and you would like to make them a special gift, a portrait fondant character of themselves, this is a tutorial for you and we will talk more about it at the end of this tutorial. And now let's get started. So we're going to start with the shoes. So I'm taking the dark brown fondant and I'm going to use 4 grams for each shoe. So I'm rolling it in between my hands into this oval shape. And afterwards I'm using my fingers. and the ball tool to shape the oval into a shoe, just like so. And of course repeat with the second shoe as well. Next we are going to make the pants, so I'm taking the 100 grams of black fondant. I'm taking all the lines in the creases, I'm trying to center them all in one place, all in one spot. This is going to be the inside of our pants. And I'm rolling it in between my hands or on a table into a long rope shape, in which we have a thicker middle part and it gets thinner towards the ends. So this is the shape they're looking for and now I'm going to fold it in the middle and I'm going to shape it into pants. I'm taking my foam base and I'm placing the legs on top of the base. I'm securing the legs with a skewer. And I'm continue shaping the pants using the ball tool. I'm creating the bottom part of the pants. I'm pushing out the knees and I'm using the Dresden tool to create some lines and ridges to make the pants look more realistic. After we're finished with the pants, we're going to make the upper body. So I'm taking the 80 grams of skin colored fondant and I'm shaping it into a rounded rectangle. And from this rounded rectangle, I'm starting to create the shape of the body. So I'm creating waistline, not too much. And I'm pushing out the neck and shaping the shoulders. So I'm not going to details here because it's going to be covered with the shirt. We just need it to look like the upper body and we need the outlines. I'm using my Dresden tool to create some indentations in the neck. And next we're going to make 
the shirt. So I'm taking the white fondant and I'm rolling it out two to three millimeters thick. I'm cutting out a long rectangle. I'm cutting out a very small hole in the middle for the neck. And I'm placing it over our body. I'm attaching the fondant at the sides and cutting off the excess, if there are any. I'm sorry for stopping this tutorial. I would just like to say that we are preparing a variety of very special videos and tutorials on a variety of fondom figures. And if you would like to be the first one to see those tutorials, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification button. I'm just using my fingers to stretch the fondant and attach it to the sides. Next, I'm cutting a little slit for the shirt. It's going to be a little bit open and I'm going to make the collar and all of the details of the shirt. For the hands, I'm going to take two pieces of skin colored fondant, 8 grams each. I'm going to roll it in my hands into this long rope shape. A little bit thicker on the upper end and it gets thinner towards the end. I'm pinching out the elbow and I'm shaping the hand.
Repeat the same with the second hand. Next I want to make the sleeves, so I'm rolling out the white fondant. I'm cutting out two small rectangles. and wrapping them around the arms we just made. Next I'm going to attach the arms to the shoulders, so I'm just attaching the arm and using the Dresden tool on my finger I'm pushing and sliding the fondant on top of the shoulder and trying to hide the seams. Very gently, don't disform the figure. Just using the stroking motions to attach the arm to the upper body. Next I'm going to insert a skewer through the body and make it very slowly. We don't want to disfigure and disform the body we just made. So I'm using circular motions. Next I'm going to make a sweater which we're going to place over the shoulders. So I'm just rolling out a piece of blue fondant. And I'm cutting an outline making like a 2D form of a shirt just to place it over the shoulders.
So now we're going to assemble our figure. So I'm inserting two small skewers into the pants to attach the shoes. I'm inserting the body on top of the pants. Just some finishing touches and this is it, our sitting man fondant cake topper is ready. And now we can go and talk about the faces that can attach to this fondant figure. And I'm really excited to talk about it because this is the best seller at Tovanis.com. This is the premium tutorial on making a portrait out of fondant. Okay, this is a product that changed the birthday cake and celebration cake entirely. And just imagine seeing your loved one face when he sees himself on a cake. You can make your child, you can make your husband, you can make a celebrity, you can make your child's head on a superhero's body. The possibilities are endless and this is a truly, truly amazing product. And now for the surprise, we have a special coupon only for our YouTube subscribers. 10% off on all the tutorials on our website and the sculpting tools. So all you need to do to receive this coupon code is to write this code in our website at checkout and you are all set. So thank you for watching this tutorial. All the details are in the description box down below and at tovanis.com. If you want to watch more tutorials about fondant figures, and you guys like us have a passion for cake fondant decoration, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. This was Eve from Ovani's. See you in the next videos. Bye!